hi guys welcome to PSP tutorial series from my last couple of videos I am working on creating a, a login form like this okay in my last video I wrote some PHP code where I am uh, where I am expect, uh, accepting values from user and validating those values with my database values and based on those validation I am redirecting uh, or I am showing success or failure message ok uh, after writing all this code when after that when I uh, run this pro uh, program or file it's showing me this error ok object not found ok let me show what's the issue let us execute once more david david ok ok here you can see it's redirecting me to home.php but I am posting my data to same page that is index.php ok here you can see here you need to change to index ok because I am posting my data to the same page here ok so it has to index.php now let us see refresh ok now david and when I sign in ok undefined variable password on line 32 to see line 32 is this query in this password ok ok here we have made a mistake to we, we need to use pass instead of password no and here ok let us see ok Let's type our credentials David and see it's showing my success. Okay, I think guys, I had written submit here in my last video, and that you need to change it to login. Okay, this unit uh, this uh, okay, this one or uh, this parameter should same with the submit name. Okay, here I have a name as login and then it should be here also it should be login if I change it to submit then here also it should be submit ok now let us run it once again ok now I am typing my credential david ok now let us sign in it, uh, if these uh, values or text box of uh, username and password um, values are present in our database and if those values gets matched then it should me it should uh, show me success message ok see here I have got a success message and now let us write some wrong password ok it should show me failure ok you guys here show me showing me failure see guys now we have successfully uh, and completed our login system and the system is working fine you can see here in my database I have a user called David and David and it's showing me exactly the same if I type David as username and password and I sign in ok you can see success ok instead of a message I, I, I want to uh, redirect my user to any other page to do that we need to create another file and h1 you are successfully logged in ok let us save save it as home.php ok let us change our index.php file here you can see whenever uh, you whenever a user enters correct username and password instead of showing him uh, or her this success message I want to redirect them to a new page to redirect to a new page we need to use this function header Okay. Location 
home dot php okay now let us come here and see since it has already my username and password saved in my history that's why it took me to the uh, to that home page now let us refresh enter correct username and password if i sign in it should uh, take me to the home.php file okay see you are successfully logged in okay, if i enter any wrong password or any username and password then it should show me an error message see it's showing me error message okay guys here i have completed my php login form system okay here let me uh, just explain this code okay till here i had explained uh, okay here i need to okay i didn't show you the validation part if user uh, uh, didn't enter any data and he the um, instead of completing uh, uh, text box values entering text box values if he click sign in then what happens okay let's show this also yes, since i have not you can see here i have not entered any value and if i went to sign in then it should show me please fill all the details admin still it will show me the same message see same message showing if i david and david it will take me to the home page to home.php okay here i am checking the uh, that validation which i shown you just uh, one second back here i am uh, selecting my username and password from my database actually i am selecting everything since i have only username and password so um, it will return me username and password and result will get stored in this variable and i am passing this variable uh, to this mysql query function inside this function uh, and here i am executing this query and in this statement i am counting the number of rows returned by the um, database okay uh, return return from my database and it will this variable will store the number and here i'm counting whether if i um, uh, whether i'm getting uh, a rows greater than zero or not and then uh, since i have one row in my table it will display definitely it will uh, return uh, one row okay which is greater than zero and in this case our condition is true and uh, and our uh, username and password gets matched with the uh, following uh, you, uh, username and password which user entered then it will redirect to uh, this home.php file if um, our username and password didn't match with the uh, entered username and password then it will show me failure message okay guys i hope you understand uh, this uh, whole system how to develop login system in php if you like this video subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching guys